टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सीक्वेंस एंड सरीज इन द टेंथ ग्रेड यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द सिक्वेंस दिस ईयर वी आर गोइंग स्टडी इट इन डेप्थ सो फर्स्ट वील सी वॉट यू मीन बाय सिक्वेंस Let's consider a few examples. I have written here a few examples of sequence, and before we define sequence, we need to understand what is sequence. And to understand the sequence, we need to go through the certain patterns so if i see in my first example each number is increasing by 1 so i find that my next number will be plus 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 so i see that it is constantly increasing by 1 by 1 so i can find out the rule for it that is it is we can simply say it is plus 1 it is just plus 1 because we can't uh, write down first we have to define that here we see that each term is 3 2s are 6 6 2s are 12 12 2s are 24 24 2s are 48 so it is mu multiply by 2 third pattern it shows me that it is a square of natural number So it, obviously my fifth term will be twenty five, sixth term will be thirty six. So these all basics we have learnt into the previous standard. So from this we understand the definition of sequence as it is collection of numbers or you can say things. or objects whatever but generally in arithmetic we say collection of number which is in a particular order here we need to understand the meaning of order order means we see in this pattern that the numbers are increasing forward in the first example in the second example the number are multiplied each number is multiplied by 2 so there is a uh, and they are increasing by the multi factor 2 that is they are going in forward or order or in this sequence also they are going in forward order of n square n square where n stands for term that is if n is 1 then it will be 1 square n is 2 it will be 2 square so they are following a certain order whereas over here i see that they are going backwards because they are reducing or it may be alternating like 0 1 0 1 0 one in this way so they follow a particular order i can explain this represent this uh, sequence by using this brackets also which we used to do for the sets but there is a difference between sets and sequence the difference between sets and sequence is that in sets we do not repeat the number whereas in sequence we repeat the we can repeat a number then in sets there is no order whereas here they follow the certain order so this is the basic distinct feature between the sets and sequence now here i'm going to introduce you the two types of sequence which we are going to study this year that is arithmetic progression and geometric progression before we start arithmetic progression and geometric progression we need to know that we need to know that the 
there are basic types of sequence such as if i say the sequence is finite so finite sequence so sequence is called finite if let's say if i take a sequence of natural number from 1 up to 4 so it ends so it has a finite value so this will be finite sequence whereas if the same sequence continues then it will be infinite sequence so the first thing we have to understand what is sequence sequence is a group of collection of numbers or things which follows a particular order and in the order we notice that it follows a certain rule that rule we need to find out by using r either you can add or you can multiply by some factor or you can observe that they are the squares or they can be the reducing number so there will be either constant difference or there will be common multiple so to understand this we need to go for the two types of progressions that is one is arithmetic progression and second is geometric progression so in arithmetic progression in case when when i say it is progression it means it is following a certain rule that's why i'm saying it arithmetic progression so in this case first we need to understand the example that is 2 4 6 8 10 and so on so i find that this sequence is progressing by a difference of 2 if i have to derive a next term i have to add two that i know so we we define the arithmetic progression as a sequence which has a constant difference now if i if i want to find a formula for this let's say consider this example 3 5 7 9 10 will be 11 and so on i know that each term is differing by two so for that let's say my first term we we'll call it a which is 3 i know that let's say difference means d which is 2 and if i am defining a formula for any of the term which i am looking for in that case i want to find pn so how do i find out the formula for it so let's try to get the formula for this let's write down this as first the first term we'll write as it is 3 second term will be 3 plus So third term will be three plus it will be two into two. Then next term will be three plus three into two. So what I observe is that I am arranging my pattern in terms of that constant difference, which is two. So if I go for the even next term, it will be. 3 plus 4 into 2. So if I try, if I want to derive a formula out of this, then I will write a plus where if I am looking for the second term, it is this I can write as 1 into 2. Where this 2 is nothing but if I see it is n. This one is n minus 1. Into d, that is, we'll write three, which is my first term. So I'll write a plus. I look at this number, which is one. So I'm looking for the second term. So it means it should be two minus one. Then I get one. So it should be n minus one, and into that difference. So this is my formula for the general. Term that is a plus n minus one into d. So we can find any of the term for the given sequence by using this formula. Let's go ahead.
and find out more about arithmetic sequence suppose if i give you a sequence and i say that prove it it is arithmetic sequence then the we have we have to use the definition in definition we have said that arithmetic progression is in which the difference remains constant between two consecutive terms so we'll solve this by using one of the example type 1 which is very basic where they will ask ask us to prove that prove show that the sequence defined by some general term that is tn is equal to x plus 2n minus 1b is in ap so if i have to prove this they have given me already the general term of that sequence and my target is to prove that this general term Uh, the sequence which is formed by using this condition is arithmetic progression so i'll try to find out the next term let's say after n it will be n plus 1 so wherever n is there i will substitute as n plus 1 and i have already studied that if the difference between two terms remains constant then it is in ap so i know that these are two consecutive terms and my target is to find the difference between them which should come constant so in order to find the difference i will write down tn plus 1 minus tn which is expression 2 minus expression 1 so x plus 2n plus 2 minus 1 into b minus I'll put a square bracket so that we won't go wrong in signs. X plus two n minus one b bracket close. Let's simplify this. So we get two n plus one into b minus. Let's multiply by this b. Open the bracket. So x as it is plus two n b minus b. when i simplify this you have already studied and you know how to solve this plus b 2nb 2nb is cancelled x x is cancelled so i get b plus b which is 2b which is nothing but independent of n therefore given sequence is arithmetic progression so we have proved that the given sequence is in arithmetic progression by using the definition of the sequence is a second example show that the sequence given by log a log a square b log a square upon b log a cube upon b log a cube upon b square is in ap the first example which we have solved where they have given us the formula for the general term and then we have proved that by taking tn difference between tn plus 1 and minus tn as the given sequence is in ap where in this they have given us the different terms of the ap and we are going to prove it it is in ap so we know now that to prove that it is in ap our target is to prove always difference constant either they give you general term or they give you the terms in the sequence the rule is say where we are going to prove that difference is constant i know this is first term second term third term fourth term and so on so i will try to find out the difference between the two terms which is nothing but log a square by b minus log a this is little different sum because when we solve the sums they are algebraic sums whereas here the example is of log so it's very important that we should be clear with our logarithmic rules so we know that certain rules we have to go through for example if it is log 
a by b what does it mean log a minus log b so if it is log a into b then it is addition log a plus log b if it is log a to the power n then this n becomes the coefficient which is n log a so this few rules we should be aware of those rules now here i'm going to use the same rule you know that that is subtraction of two logs it means i can express my subtraction as a division so i'll write down this as log bracket a square by b as one term and this one is divided by a i'll simplify this log a square by b division i'll convert into multiplication which is 1 upon a cancel it and i get final answer as log a upon b which is the difference between t2 minus t1 now i have to do this one more time because my target is to prove difference is constant between consecutive terms so i'll take now difference between t3 and t2 which will be log a cube by b minus log a square by b now when i simplify by the same method as it is subtraction i can express this as division so my step will be a cube upon b divided by a square by b which i can write as log a cube by b into b by a square so we simplify this and it should be b square did i take b is it b or b square log b a cube upon b square this is b square so this will be b cube this will be just to prove huh so this becomes b square right uh here it should be b square it should be b square one b one b is cancel and i'm left with log of a upon b log a square upon b log a cube upon b square yeah that's perfect and log a4 upon b cube this is a4 upon b cube this is a5 upon b plus 2 cube so i got d is equal to this therefore as d is constant the given sequence is in arithmetic progression